Welcome back to Wear Wigs With Me. Today I am wearing Winter by Aesthetica in the color R302826. So let's get started. Winter is a cropped angled bob. It has textured waves, choppy layers. It is just one of those fun, sporty, casual styles. styles that the messier the better. The cap on winter is a lace front, mono part. It has the great ear tabs with the metal stays. They're open, open extended nape, hook closures, and then overall open cap. Aesthetica caps are so comfortable on me. I have a 22 and a half inch circumference head. They fit me perfect. I have a wig grip on today, but Aesthetica does have caps that if I'm just gonna run a quick errand, I don't even have to put a wig grip on. They just fit that well. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know that there are cap features that I don't care for with Aesthetica cap. That is the open ear tabs and extended nape and those hook closures. I don't care for that stuff. But I have to tell you, with this wig, it works. And the reason why is because this cat, this wig is so light, it's 2.86 ounces. And it is cool and breathable and like super great for summer, I can already tell because we've had a couple hot days and I've worn this wig and I haven't been bothered by it. And I think a lot of that reason is because of these cap features. Let's get into winter's measurements. I was talking about how lightweight this wig is. It only weighs 2.86 ounces. Winter is one of those wigs that just disappears on your head after a while. If you read the designer um, kind of description on the website, it says that winter has a side swept bang. Now, I'm not gonna wear winter like that. I'm gonna wear it up off my face. So it gives a bang measurement of seven inches and then a crown measurement of seven inches. The sides are 5.75 and the nape is 2. It's really cute. So the hair fibers and the permatease on winter. There is no permatease. And when I first got this, I kind of missed the permatease because I'm like, how do I style this? How do I give it volume? What do I do with this? Again, if you go back and just take winter for what winter is, it doesn't need the permatease. Once I got this wig the way that I wanted, I kind of appreciated the fact that it doesn't have permatease. And again, that is going to add to the cool factor of this wig. I literally wore this wig uh, jogging and walking my dogs. Um, there was more walking than there was jogging, but I wore this wig and honestly, I, I didn't feel like I was wearing a wig and it's short enough that it's not like bouncing all over my face. It just kind of bounces right where it is. It doesn't get in your face. The hair fibers are fine and soft. They kind of have a dry appearance. They look very natural. They do get some uh, fuzziness on top. Like the more you play with it, it will get fuzzy because of those fine hair fibers. It's not one of those wigs that you just shake and go. You're gonna have to mess with winter a little bit. I don't mind that. I kind of think that adds to the natural look of the wig. So I don't mind that. If that bothers you, style it the way you wanna style it. Spray it with a little bit of water and then just kind of tamp that down in the areas where it's bothering you. I think it looks super cute like that, so I kind of just play with it and give it volume and play with the curl and just let it be fuzzy if, if it's gonna be. It's not crazy fuzzy, it's not like tacky, but it'll get a little fuzzy up there the more you play with it. The color I chose is R302826. It is Aesthetica's light orangey red color. That 30, 28, 26 is the medium auburn, light auburn, golden blonde. It's beautiful, it's my favorite. It's the only color I own from Aesthetica, <laughs> honestly. It's my favorite. It's one of the closest hairstyles or hair colors to my natural hair color. Um, this one and then John Renault's 27MB. They're very similar, 
and they're the closest so I'm the most comfortable in it. Also, I don't have to wear makeup. I have lots of makeup on today, but I don't have to. This is one of those comfy colors and comfy styles that it's easy to put on and, and go about my day and not think about makeup or, you know, if it looks like a wig or does it look natural or fake. It's just a really natural looking, comfortable wig. Okay, so I've talked about the cap and the measurements and the color and the permatease on the hair fibers. My overall thought about winter is that I think it's darling. Now, it's one of those wigs that when you first get it, let me just say, when I first got it, I was like, what am I going to do with this? It just wasn't, it didn't look like the manufacturer picture when I put it on my head. It looked like a square when I put it on my head. And it was like straight and then this band of like waviness and then the nape was straight. And so I'm like, what do I do with this? There's no permatease to work with. Um, the layers are so short, it's not like, you know, I'm gonna be able to manipulate the curl very much. So here is my advice. When you get a wig and you put it on and you're like, oh, I hate it. Just step back away from it and take the style out of it for a second. If the cap is comfortable, if the color is spot on, if it hangs and hits you in all the right places, then give the style a minute. Because if I learned anything from Sweet Talk by Gabor, it is that these cropped, curly, layered styles need time to relax. They also have to be, I mean, in my experience anyway, I have to soak them in cold water, and I mean spray it down with a shower head, not just a spray bottle. Like, soak it in cold water, scrunch it with my hands, hang it upside down to dry, and leave it alone. All these wigs that we get have been sitting in boxes, most likely for a while, and these short, super layered, wavy wigs really take on whatever style is happening, you know, like whatever position they are in the box, they really take that on very easily. So we have to get them out of those boxes, away from their cap, away, you know, like um, separate the hair fibers from each other and from the cap and just let them relax and breathe. Even after I let it hang upside down after soaking it in cold water, I still wasn't real happy with it. But I knew that I liked the style. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. I liked where it hit me and I knew that I just had to get these curls the way that I wanted them. And the way that I did that is honestly just by wearing it. The longer I wore it, I don't know if it was the temperature of my head or if I sweat in it, <laughs> as gross as that sounds, I don't know. But whatever happened on that first day when I wore it, it got better. The curls actually like got curlier. Where When I took it out of the box and it was like straight and then wavy and then the straight nape, the curl kind of came back up here. And I did play with it. You know, I kept kind of separating out some of the curls and, and you know, I did play with it. But the longer I wore it, the better it got. And maybe just subconsciously, the more I wore it, the more I played with it too. So that might be part of it too. Now, all that being said, everything I did to make this super cute for me and wearable for me can't be done if you think you might return the wig. And that is why these reviews are so valuable. And I get that. That's one of the reasons I started my channel. There are several people that have reviewed Winter by now. So I encourage you if you're interested in this wig and you don't look like me, if you don't have my face shape and my head size and my neck length, I encourage you to find a reviewer that does because then you're really gonna get to see what it looks like on them, what they had to do to make it look good on them. Because my head size has a lot to do with how 
this looks on me, especially, especially these, um, all these layers. I mean, there's some short layers in there. So if you have a petite head, those are just going to kind of hang down on you. I have that larger head. So like, I might have more volume than somebody that has a petite size head because these layers are going to stick out more. They're not going to just hang. They got a, they got a head to get around. So all that is important. Watch those wig reviews. Look at pictures. Um, get on, if you belong to a Facebook group, get on those Facebook groups and say, hey, I'm thinking about winter. Whoever has it, post a picture so I can see what it looks like on you. Ask people questions. What did you do to get it to look like that? All of that will help you in, in making a purchase like this because I understand that these might be kind of the hardest style to purchase and, and feel confident in, in keeping because right out of the box, they can be a little scary, but winter's worth it. This is a really cute style. It's gonna be great for summer because it's lightweight, it's super breathable, no permatease, all these layers, I mean, that's just allowing more air to get through this cap. So, I say go for it as long as you put it on, it's comfortable, it hits you where you want it to hit you, the color is spot on, give the style a chance. You just gotta work with Guys, it. So this has been Winter by Aesthetica in the color R302826. A special thank you to Vogue Wigs for sending me this wig and giving me the opportunity to highlight it on my channel. I think it is going to be perfect for summer and I can't wait for you guys to try it and let me know what you think. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, give it a thumbs up, do a little chit chat down in the comments and I'll see you guys next week. Oh,